What is up YouTube, Tom I'm back with a brand new video here today after almost two years of uploading and a game change has commenced. I've twitched over to Counter Strike Global Offensive and for today's video I'm going to give you a smoke tutorial on the map Vertigo. So basically what we're going to do is go through all the smokes that I know on Vertigo that's going to help you out. Similar to what I used to do on Call of Duty but for Counter Strike and hopefully bring some more people on board and just have some fun with a great game. So what you want to do is if you line the smoke up with this mark here, if you come to the top and just line your crosshair just under the center of here, hold it and throw it. Basically what you're going to do is going to bounce off this corner here and it's going to bounce down here and basically cover this whole, whole bit. I roll a clip now of what I did when I threw the smoke and as you can see it worked. Another smoke that you can do for this breeze bomb site is a quite simple one. Basically what you want to do is come into this corner right here. This is just basically late in the round or you think they're pushing or you've been on the A site and you've rotated to B, you've got to call out. You just basically want to line up to this, come into this corner here, line up this corner and just, just throw. Just throw it normally. And what it's going to do is just land there. And if you want to push up to this corner and try to get a few sneaky frags or whatever it may be. Moving on to the middle of the map is just basically a nice simple smoke throw. Just to be able to cut off this area. Just just to stop anybody pushing here and you can maybe get some sneaky frags. What you want to do is come into this corner right here. You just want to crouch down. Obviously this spot's quite good in pistol rounds or ecos very good one to use. What you want to do is you want to come one, two, three, four bars in and if you want to put the top of your crosshair just at the top you want to throw it and the smoke should land around the circle or bang in the middle of the circle. It's basically just gonna, as you can see if you come in you can't see through this side but you can just see through this side so if you know it's gonna land if you just pre-aim this side nobody's gonna push through this smoke pick up some easy frags and you really do not need another smoke in the middle on the CT side other than that one unless you want to pop one through this window and block off there but by the time you block that off there's going to be people pushed in and there's going to be really no point. Moving on to the air side with my favourite smoke, there's not a smoke that's this is probably the best smoke that I've ever found on this game. Most of the smokes that I've used, I've seen of other people using them. and But this one, I, I haven't seen anybody use it. I've seen somebody do something similar where Zip Next comes with a Molotov and just throws it off the top of there and it bounces down. But obviously it's a lot different. The Molotov explodes here, but that's for another video. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to get a smoke grenade and you're going to line up on this corner here and just offset yourself a tiny tiny bit you're gonna hold down with a double click and just basically throw the grenade it's gonna bounce over bounce off that corner and it's basically just gonna pop in the middle and you literally nobody can see anything and all you've got to focus on is this scaffolding push here and if you stack two teammates there and one throws that smoke this the person who's through the smoke and literally rotate and it's just a nice easy hold. Another smoke that you can use for the air ramp is if you come and line up with these metal rods here, just look into the wall, and what you want to do is you turn around and you just basically line it up. There's a tiny, tiny corner where there's a, a bit of concrete, as you can see. You just want to go to the slight right of the edge of the concrete where this this part here meets it basically all you want to do is you just want to step and throw 
what it's going to do, it's going to bounce back off and drop the smoke round about there. It's going to block anybody off, but if you've got any AWPer or anything, it's literally the easiest angle for an AWPer to hold. Just, just straight through there. It's not as good as the smoke that you throw from here, but it's still a pretty good one. As you can see, if that smoke lands there, it's such a better smoke if you throw it properly. So that's literally every single smoke that you need to know on the CT side. But moving on to the T side, I'm just going to start with the T spawn with the, the classic Furious smoke, the art special. Into this corner, looking up. 64 tick, I normally say. Look at this bit here. Everyone's got their own preference though. And if you just right click, jump, basically it's going to bounce on the top of here. Bounce down and down to there. Basically, what it's going to do is if you look from this side, it's blocked off every single part. You don't, you just don't need to worry about that part of the bomb site whatsoever. So after you've dropped the smoke on the scaffolding or cat or whatever your call out is for it, which is this one, you've basically got control of the ramp unless there's somebody. It's, pretty much impossible to lose the ramp. If you lose the ramp to one person, things need to be rethought out. Only other place you've got to worry about is behind sandbags. If you molotov it out, it's quite an easy one. But you can move on to smoke in the site, or the wallet, wallet air smokes, because everyone's normally rotated back to the site. What you want to do is line up with this bar right here and this bar here. And if you just off, I offset it just the tiniest bit, and I throw, throw that smoke and then for the right side of the site and for the left side of the site you come into here and just line up with this and all you want to do is jump and throw and if you come and see right here you've basically got like a perfect wall of smokes the only place that people can jump up is on here and even if you were to jump if I can get under it on here you can't see over I know the smokes just disappeared but you can't see over and it's literally the easiest, easiest retake that you could possibly want. Another smoke that you can use for the air bomb site if you've only got one smoke and you just want to cut off an important, just depending on how your CTs are playing. It's basically, if you come into this right corner, it's just basically going to block off the back door. If you come up and line it up with this red, red bit here. Yeah, red bit here. And if you go one dot, two dot and just basically just quite simply left click through it basically all it's going to do is it's going to bounce and it's just going to block off this back right door so anyone that wants to come through it it's going to be a bit they could push through this side but the chance of it's all you've got to watch is basically the top and if you've got a capable of it's pretty much straightforward and simple another way you could throw the left side sight smoke also is you come into the same exact corner that you've just threw the black side smoke. If you come here and you line it, same, basically another two dots into there. If you throw that one and someone else obviously throws the one that we just discussed. Fans, but there. Basically all it's going to do is just line up like that. But the only problem that you've got with that, there's actually a slight gap that comes here. You will get the bomb plant. It's nice. It's probably easier than throwing the jump smoke, but the difference is, if you look at the difference there to the difference of this, it does look a lot better and a lot harder to retake if you've got them two smokes dropped right there to if you've got the other two smokes. Moving on over to the B-bomb site, easiest smoke, I think everybody knows at this point, is if you come over, line this dot, and if there's a there's like sort of a line across there i think it depends on what effects you've got on and all the little details basically if you just want to come here and just line it up with basically around just slightly off to the off the middle to the left just left kick throw it's basically just going to go straight through and just land on the site Another alteration to that smoke would be if you came and just lined it up with the dot as it was before. And if you basically look at this line here and this dot and just offset slightly, 
basically all you want to do is just straight up left click through it as the one before. It's basically just going to bounce off this bit here. And it's actually going to give you a bit of a better block. The only thing you got to worry about is this bit of a cross here, but if you got a cake the block or a, a nice crispy AK shot, it's nothing to worry about. And you can actually get into the bomb. You can get a bomb plant right here without being able to be seen. So obviously as the smoke disappears, you can't see that. The last smoke that I use for the B bomb site, like I said, I'm only doing essential smokes. There is hundreds of smokes that you can do. If I can do them more in depth. There's one way you can throw over here, but to land on the heaven. But essential smokes into this corner. I'd line up just with this bit here, just slightly lower. Basically, the smoke wants to go under here. Basically, all you want to do is throw the smoke. It's going to go over. It's going to bounce off of here and down here. This, another smoke can land on here, but if you're in matchmaking, you probably. I'm using these smokes for matchmaking. The chances of a teammate being able to throw that smoke and that smoke is going to be pretty hard. So you, you've got. You can basically just watch this angle and the top, and your teammates will pick the rest. So basically, it's basically if you're solo queuing, nice easy smoke, clear the site. Throw that smoke, anyone rotating is not going to jump in the side, free bomb plant. Or if you're throwing this smoke right here, the rest's history. If you were take, retaking the middle of the site and you just basically want to push it out, there's three smokes that you can use to basically take it. I'd probably only use two and attack the third. One for here, one for here, and one for here. The first one would be this one in the corner here. Basically, all you want to do is come over to this corner. And you just want to line up just basically just this bottom corner here all you want to do is left click through it and it's just going to bounce and just land there and as you can see there's pretty much no way that there's this slightest gap there but that's only if someone comes on the boost unless the smoke's fading but if you're here then you're going to be able to see that person there another smoke for the middle would be if you came over into this corner and basically you just want to look just to the right of this corner here just line up around the center and just basically right left click throw sorry and it's just basically just going to land in there cover you can't see a single thing nice easy smoke just to land and the last smoke for the middle is basically to cut off the right side anybody rotating into air to basically give a help hand what you want to do is you want to go one two three in and you just basically just want to line up straight off there's a I'll zoom it in but there's a line there you just basically want to throw the smoke straight off there and it's basically going to bounce off the corner and drop there and you literally you can't even one way it you can't see anything you can get around here a little bit but but it's not really going to work for all three of the smokes it would basically be into there one second one would be in through there and the third one if you go one two three would be into there and basically this is how this would help how it would look if it would work you can have execute through there this you can literally execute whichever way you want you can throw two of the three smokes and funnel through away for a pistol round or would be entirely however you would like to approach it in your matchmaking game or however your Russian teammates would like to do it. So if you did enjoy the video of all of these basically basic essential smoke tutorial, there's loads of different smokes that I could show on this map, but I just want to keep it the basic basic for matchmaking so that you and your teammates can can get the best possible results in your games. If you did enjoy the video Please don't forget to slap a like on it, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel, and follow me on Twitter with any new, for any new videos coming up in the future. If you did enjoy the video, this has been Tomo, and I'll see you in my next video.